Hello everyone, it's Elena here from Lavinia Stamps Design Team. Thank you for joining me today and I'd like to share with you how I made this card home. You will need a piece of A5 watercolour card and then we're going to be using Brusho's Black to do our background with. And then we're going to use Versafine Claire Nocturne to stamp with. And then we need to make a mask over our cottage to do the poppies. And for that, I've used Warm Breeze. We're going to also be using these Bronzeal watercolour pencils to colour in our cottage and to do a bit of grounding. Posca pens, a white and yellow Posca pen just to do some little dots on the ground and over the rocks. A gold glitter pen and a stardust glitter pen just to add some sparkle to the cottage. I'm also going to be using a yellow gel pen and a fluorescent yellow gel pen just to do the highlights on the roof. Then I'm going to do some blending using Distress Oxide Black Soot. A quickie glue pen and then I'm going to be using some of this foil sheets from the vintage collection. For stamps I'm going to be using Bay Leaf Cottage, Garden Puppy and Forest Creeper. So let's get started. For today's card I'm using a piece of A5 watercoloured card and to do the background I'm going to use some black brushes and I'm just going to gently just tap this over the card. So we're just going to gently just tap that and then with our spray bottle we're now going to activate the colour. So we want to give this a right good spritz. So we're just going to spritz that all over and then I'm just going to use my cloth just to take the brushes off. There. And then I'm going to go back over and I'm just going to do a little bit more. So again, just gently, just tapping that in areas where you want it to go. And then again, with a spritzing bottle, just spritz that to activate the colour. There. And then again, with the cloth, we're just going to dab that brush hose off. And then I'm going to give it one more final spritz and then dry it with the heat gun. So now we've got the Bailiff Cottage stamped. Just using a piece of old copier paper, I'm just going to stamp this on to the copier paper. And now I'm just going to cut this out to create a mask. So I've got my mask cut out and now I'm just going to place that over our cottage. And I'm just going to use my magnets just to keep that into place. So using the garden puppy, I'm just now going to place this to the right of our cottage. And I'm going to ink that up 
in VersaFine Claire Warm Breeze. So I'm just going to give that a good ink up. And then we're going to stamp it. And then we're going to move to the left side. And then we're going to have this one just slightly lower, smaller. So I'm just going to now And then before I ink it up, I'm just going to rip some copier paper and I'm just going to create my ground line just so that the poppies don't come all the way down my card. And again, still using the warm breeze. So give that a good ink up and then we're going to stamp it. And now I'm going to use Forest Creepers. So I'm going to place that just under the middle poppy. I'm going to stamp that in Versifying Claire Nocturne, but in second generation. So we're going to ink that up, a piece of copier paper, and then we're just going to stamp that and stamp it on to our card. So I've got some ripped up paper and I'm just going to place it along the ground line just where these little dots are by your stones. And then I'm just going to bring this down a little bit and again just keep stamping this in Versifying Claire Nocturne second generation. So ink that up. I'm going to still use the same piece of copier paper. Stamp it and then stamp it in second generation. And I think we'll do one more just coming down and again do this in second generation. So stamp it then second gen. Yeah. And I've just got a bit of gap here so I'm just going to go back to using my forest creeper and just fill that little gap in. So I'm just going to ink it, still using that copy of paper and then just stamp there. And then we're going to work on the left side. So I'm just moving that little bit of copy of paper just to create my ground line. And then we're just going to go underneath the second, the middle puppy, the second puppy. And then we're going to ink that up. I'm still using that same piece of copy of paper. And then I'm just going to stamp that in second gen. And then I'm going to work by the roof. So I'm just going to bring that down. And again, just stamp it and stamp it in second gen. And then we're just going to do one more. So I'm just going to bring that down and then stamp it. Yeah. And then we can take our masks away and now we can work on our bailiff cottage. I'm going to be using these Brian Zeal watercolour pencils to colour in our bailiff cottage. So I'm just going to quickly colour this all in just using a blue watercolour pencil. 
So I'm just going to give this a quick colour. And then with our brush, just taking a bit of the excess water in, we're just now going to blend this in to the card. We're just going to blend all of that in and we're just going to work our way up on the roof. There. Now we're just going to keep working our way up. So we're just going to get this going. Blend that in. And blend all of that way up. And then I'm going to give it a dry with a heat gun. And now I'm just going to do the right side of our cottage. So we're just concentrating on the right side and then we're just going to go underneath these bars over the roof. So we're just going to follow those first just so that we've got some shadow and then we're just going to concentrate first on the right side of our cottage. So I'm just going to turn this upside down and then I'm just going to colour this in using a dark blue. So we're just going to follow this all the way up. There. And then again, going back to our brush. And now we're just going to work on the dark area of where we just put that colour down. So we're just going to do that and then just gently blend it into our roof and up here and down the sides just turn the card upside down and then we can just blend that in then underneath the bars on the roof. And again, I want more dry with the heat gun. And I think we're just going to have a little bit of green. Just here, there, just going up the left side of the roof. There. And then again, we're just going to blend that in to our roof. So there. We're just going to work on this just to give a nice blend. A bit more carrying it up to the top.
we're just going to give this a dry with a heat gun. I'm just going to use some purple just on the very right side of our roof. So we're just going to quickly just apply some of that and I think we can just add a bit to our door. There. And now again we're just going to blend all of this in to our roof. Pulling that colour out and blending that all in nicely. just going to do this door so we're just going to blend that lovely purple in there and then I'm just going to use a light brown just to quickly just do around the cottage do the stones And then we're just going to do a bit for the ground, just here. There. And then again, we're just going to use our brush just to get all of that blended in nicely. We're just going to blend all of this now into our card. And this is just going to be our base layer. So we're just going to get this quickly just worked in. There. And then again, before we do any more work, to dry it. Then I'm going to go back to using the dark blue and I'm just going to go around the edge of the door so I'm just going to go in a circular motion I'm going to use a dark brown pencil just to do the stones with so those are the stones on the cottage and then we're just going to start to do our shading on these rocks around the cottage. So we're just and then do the steps and we're just going to go around these stones and then we can just use that same pencil just to do right by the stones, the footpath, because that would be naturally darker. So we're just going to build up. And then with our brush, we're just going to gently blend all of that in to our stones. So we just want to get that gently blended. So we're just going to get that going. Just round on the ground. So 
do that door. I'm just going to use my brush, picking up some of that colour and then just gently dabbing it onto the stones. So I'm just going to use my brush and then just dab onto the stones and just do a bit of dabbing just around them at the bottom. Just do a bit of the stones, and a little bit underneath the roof. So now I'm just using the white gel pen just to put some highlights onto these rocks around the cottage. And I'm just using my finger just to tone it down. And then we're just going to do some little dots around the stones on the cottage. And you can just see where the highlights have been like in the middle of the stones and then some highlights on these bricks and then i'm just going to get my posca pen started and then we're just going to create some little dots just around where the stones are and i'll just probably have some going over i'll just carry this out and we'll just carry some going over the rocks. And then I'm just going to use a yellow Posca pen just to follow where we put those little white dots. So I'm just going to carry that around there. Using a Stardust Glitter Pen, I'm now just going to follow some of these lines on our roof. So I'm just going to flick these lines just going up our roof. And some down here. Some coming down here. If I can show you, you might be able just to see, just having that little bit of sparkle on the roof. And then I'm going to use the same Stardust pen just for the middle of our puppies just to give them a little bit of sparkle. And then I'm just going to use my white gel pen just to do a little bit of highlighting on our puppies. Then I'm just going to use my fluorescent yellow gel pen just to do a bit of highlighting on our roof. There. Just a bit more. I'm just going to use my finger just to blend that in. And then I'm just going to use 
the gold glitter pen. So I've just quickly coloured that in. And then with my brush, I'm just going to gently just blend that into our jar. Just so that we get a nice, gentle shimmer to it. And if I lift that up, you might just be able to see. It's very gentle. Going to add a little bit of sparkle. So just using my quickie glue pen, I'm now just going to go up the forest creeper. So we're just going to do random little dots. And then I'm going to do a little dots just around where the stones are. And then up on the left side of Bayleaf Cottage. So I'm just following that up. Just doing some random little dots. And I think we'll just put a dot inside the puppy. We'll just keep that just going up a bit above the puppies. So there, just a nice little bit up. And I'm just going to dry that just to make these glue dots tacky quickly. I'm using one of the sheets from the vintage sheet collection. So now I'm just going to rub this over and then with my finger just rub it over where we did those little glue dots. So I'm just going to rub it over and we're just going to go all the way over. So. so now we have our foil dots. So if I just move that card around, you'll be able to see in areas where they are. Just going to be using a little bit of Distress Oxide Black Soot. So with my old smoothie, I'm now just going to gently just blend around the edge of our card. So I'm just going to go around just gently darking the edges. Don't want it too heavy, so we're just going to do this gently and lightly. So now I have it glued onto some white card and I'm just going to do my mats and layers. So I'm just going to do these at an eighth of an inch. So I'm just going to do a white one first. And now I've just glued it to some blue card. And then I'm going to trim it down to an eighth of an inch border. So just using my ruler and we're just going to go around now trimming our border down. So we're just going to keep going around. last one and there's the finished card all glued on to the card blank thank you again for joining me please take care and i hopefully will see you soon bye for now bye